was an exciting day for thousands of people who packed Waikiki for the premiere of the new Hawaii Five O. To celebrate, CBS and the city and county of Honolulu put on a special Sunset on the Beach premiere, featuring lots of great entertainment. Many who came were fans of the original Hawaii Five-O, which debuted in 1968. The show ran for 12 seasons, making it one of the longest-running police dramas in American television. While throngs camped out on the beach hoping to catch a glimpse of the stars, the media turned out to capture all the hoopla. The city rolled out the red carpet in style to welcome the cast and crew of Hawaii Five O to the islands. So you and I can celebrate. The crowd seemed thrilled to see Hawaii's newest celebrities, and the stars seemed touched by the aloha. It feels amazing to be here. I mean, the, as you guys can see, the energy is awesome. There's so many people. It's huge. In the new series, Taryn Manning plays Mary Ann, the sister of Steve McGarrett. Australian actor Alex O'Loughlin stars as McGarrett. I'm humbled, I'm deeply grateful, and I'm really overwhelmed. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, I'm just, I feel, I feel like I'm a part of the community, you know. I've been here for a while now. I've been here for a few months, and I've kind of felt like an outsider. And tonight, I feel like... It's awesome. Scott Kahn plays Detective Danny Williams, better known as Dano. He likes the advantages of living in the islands. Well, I love to surf, um, and I love uh, jujitsu. There's a big jujitsu community here, and I got a lot of friends out here, so it's, it's an easy, easy transition for me. Grace Park is simply known as Kono, a new police academy graduate. She's been discovering what sets Hawaii apart from other locations. There just seems to be a sense of like. Uh, warmth and welcome and like an acceptance. It's a really special place and I never really knew that before because I just would either stay in a resort or go to certain restaurants and just be on the beach, that kind of thing. So I never really got past that kind of the, the tourist border, you know? And being here for two months, I've already like gotten to know so much more of it. Daniel Day Kim portrays Chin Ho Kelly. He also starred in Lost during that show's six year run. Kim is happy to continue living in the islands. There's a certain spirit to this island that extends to crews and cast that, that come here and uh, I've grown accustomed to working with them and I really appreciate the spirit that they bring to work every day. Peter Lenkov is one of the show's executive producers. He says working with the city to get the production going has been a positive experience. It's been great actually, it's been great. I think, you know, I think it's because it's Y50. It's a brand that, that, that you know, 42 years ago was so big and I, people of Hawaii identify themselves with this show and I think, you know, everybody wants to see this work. So it's been really good, it's been a good experience. Lenkov says a show will continue hiring local actors, casting about 60% from Hawaii and 40% from the mainland. Throughout the event, Hawaii's talented musicians kept the crowd entertained. Another highlight of the evening, the University of Hawaii Warrior Marching Band playing the iconic theme song. During the celebration, the city acknowledged Honolulu's top cop, Police Chief Louis Kealoha, and all the men and women in blue for keeping Hawaii safe. Both the state and city officials also thank CBS and everyone responsible for bringing Hawaii Five-0 back. The series is a big economic boost for the state, especially for Hawaii's TV and film industry and also tourism. The president of CBS Television Studios expressed his gratitude to the people of Hawaii for the warm reception and said Hawaii Five-0 is a passion project for the network. The original show holds a special place in CBS history in all of our hearts. Everyone involved in that original cre show created something 
that was not only unique, but uniquely Hawaiian. It's our intention to uphold that. Um, to bring the show back was obviously a daunting cast and I, uh, task, and I can assure you we would not have done it if we couldn't do it right. The reason we could do it right are uh, the producers I'm about to introduce. As you'll see tonight, they reimagined a classic in a way that honors the original, and it adds a modern flair uh, that we hope to introduce to a new generation of viewers. It's my honor to introduce the three executive producers and the brain trust behind the new Hawaii Five-0, Alex Kurtzman, Roberto Orsi, and Peter Lenkoff. Aloha. I want to say that we're so thrilled to be here. It's amazing you guys have really embraced us and, and we feel the, the love and the, the warmth and the gratitude and, and uh, we can't thank you enough. This has been a really fast and, and fun ride for us. We started about 10 months ago. CBS called me up and said, are you interested in doing Hawaii Five-0? And I said, absolutely. This was my father's favorite show. And, and I remember as a kid, I, I remember as a kid, and I have these vague memories of sitting by his knee watching the show, and I remember how important that show was to him. We grew up in Montreal, Canada. There's no beaches, there's, there's no sun, there's no ocean. So for us, to getting to go to paradise once a week, that was a big deal. Ba 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 All right. I'd really like to acknowledge the original uh, Five O alums uh, to stand up, please. Jimmy Borges. <laughs> Kimo Kahoanu. <laughs> Eddie Sherman. <laughs> and Al Harrington. In a poignant moment, the daughters of Leonard Freeman, who created the original show, expressed how much he loved writing it. They also read a letter from their mother, passing on the legacy of Hawaii Five-0 to its new producers, the cast and crew, and fans. I think the best wish I could make for you is that in 42 years, you too will be on the beach at Waikiki, again premiering a third reboot of Hawaii Five-0. <laughs> Then the show's producers introduced the cast of the new Hawaii Five-0. All right, first, you're going to know her as Kono, Grace Park. As Detective Chin Ho Kelly, Daniel Day Kim. We were lucky to book him, Scott Kahn. You're going to get to know her as the Garrett sister, Mary. We got Taryn Manning for you. Got one more. You're going to get to know him as Steve McGarrett, Steve J. McGarrett. Here he is, Alice O'Loughlin! I got to tell you, um, on behalf of the cast, we are completely overwhelmed uh, with the love and support that we feel here tonight. And we are so grateful for all of you to come out on a Monday night and, and want to share this show with us. So thank you very much. Um, as you watch tonight, we hope you recognize exactly how important the character of Hawaii is to our show. We know that we couldn't do it anywhere else, and we know that we couldn't do it with all of you. So we are eternally grateful that you came out tonight. We hope that you'll support the show, and we hope that you'll like what you see. Mahalo. Finally, the moment everyone had been waiting for arrived. The world premiere of the new Hawaii Five-0.